So we've got Chelsea versus Bournemouth on Sunday. Big day, last game of the season. How do you think it's going to play out? Hey guys, I'm Lee and this is Hattrick. Welcome along. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and you'll always be updated when I upload new videos. I am a big Chelsea fan. Uh, the channel is basically about Chelsea, football, everything, anything in between. Um, today I just wanted to do a quick update video really on just um, how the team's going, how we think things are going, obviously as we go into the last game of the season. We're currently sitting at sixth, which is a massive difference from the beginning of the season. We've had a proper rocky season, let's be, let's be fucking honest. It's been very up and down, very injury prone. We've been very unlucky, I think. Um, we've had some fucking amazing performances. Uh, we've got some real standout players. And we've had some idiots doing some silly things as well. But we're not going to get into that now because it's all about, you know, where do we see ourselves next season? Now, obviously, being a die-hard Chelsea fan, I've been through it all. I've been through it all. I've been from the, the depths of the hells to the tops of everything, winning everything, and they're not winning nothing. So, you know, obviously, the stature of the club, we need to be fighting for top four, surely. The question is, when and will that happen? What do you think? Drop a comment. Let me know. Personally, I think we should be. I think we should be fighting for top four next season. There's no reason why not. You know, if Poch stays, which we're all hoping he will. Well, I think the I think the the, the percentage of us are hoping that he stays. To be honest with you, um, if he stays, I believe we should be fighting for top four. Um, especially the way we've been performing over the last sort of you know four and a half games or if you want to call it as you like to put but um yeah so if we can continue that that form into pre-season and into next season there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that we will be fighting for champion league spots next season you know i've i've taken me out off and i'll eat my own words and you know it hasn't always been been nice rosy stuff this this season but you know finally we've actually got something to look forward to We've got a team that's playing really well. What do you think? Who's your top player? You know, what's your top moment in, in this season? What's your favourite goal this season? Drop a comment, guys. Let me know. Start a conversation. This is what this channel's all about. You know, big Chelsea fan, but you know, I'll listen to any fan. You know, put your point across. Let's have a, little, have a bit of a debate about it. So I'm going to put out my, my favourite player of the season. I've got... I've got two, obviously Cole Palmer, I know everyone knows who watches my channel, that I'm a big Cole, Cole Palmer fan, because the kid's, the kid's just been electric, and you can't deny it, that he has been electric all freaking season, but then, <laughs> then Kukurea, who has just literally come out of fucking nowhere, let's be honest, who expected Kukurea to turn out and play the way he has done over the last say two months I put my hand up I didn't fucking think so either but my days he's a fucking workhorse he is a non-stop beast and I strongly believe if he hadn't been playing the way he's been playing over the last six weeks we wouldn't be in, we would not be sitting at six no fucking chance he it, literally I've been watching him I don't know what his exact stats are. I'll have to look him up. But he's got to be hitting at least 80 to 90. No, maybe not 80. Maybe 70 to 80% of his tackles are clean. And he's winning the ball. And it's not its not just that. It's his runs. He's always up and down. I mean, he set up the goal for... Um, I'm sure, yeah, he put, he put the... He put, it was his assist that got uh, Palmer that header against, um, against, against Brighton in the week. Do you know what I mean? And what a cracking little cross that was. And Cole Palmer just does what he does, chips it off his head, straight in the goal. You can't fucking, you can't complain, you can't argue with that. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, yeah, well, you've spent a billion pounds and all this. But, you know, and why haven't the players played better? Well, look at our injury list. It's like 14 players out at one point. You know, and Poch, bless him, do you know what I mean? He's doing, I think he's doing a fucking brilliant job. Don't care if he came from Tottenham or whatever else. He is doing a good job for the club. 
You can't deny it after looking looking the way and it's the way that he keeps saying it in his press conferences. Like he said it again today. It's about the progress. It's not. Oh, we need to do this. You got to believe in the. You got to believe in the progress and how it works. And now he's saying, you know, he even just said that. He even said today that it's again, it's down to the, it's down to the progress and how how it's all planned out and how it's all working ha- as it should be. So you know, hats off to Potch. I think he's doing fucking brilliantly. I really do. Yeah. So that's pretty much it on the game front. I just wanted to reiterate about our um, membership for the channel. So we st- obviously we've. Um, We've got different levels for our membership. So if you wanted to like get you sort of get you know, a bit a bit more extra info or some behind the scenes footage, that sort of stuff, then you can if you can click on the um click on the membership for the channel. Uh I think it starts at about two pounds or something. And all the money basically goes towards helping the channel. Helps me um get all the stuff edited and all that sort of stuff. But that's that's kind of my own little my own little plug, <laughs> if you will. But um yeah, I might even be able to afford to buy a Chelsea shirt then. <laughs> we can price these shirts these days. They're an absolute joke. But anyway, on to the game on um, on Sunday. I'm a strong believer that we will win it. Uh, playing at home, last game of the season at home. We've got to win it. We, ha- we need them three points. And what would happen if Tottenham got beat? Heaven forbid. <laughs> But no, I wish well to all, all the teams on Sunday. But Chelsea, we're going to need that three points, guaranteed Europe, and then next season we will be fighting for the top four. I don't care what you say in the comments. I'm a believer. Potch says you've got to believe. So if Potch says you've got to believe, that means you've got to believe. If you're a Chelsea fan, start believing, boys. <laughs> 